And what I want us to understand here is this. You see, that anthropological, geological, biological, astronomical history of the universe, that's Genesis 1 to 11, it's foundational to the whole gospel. The gospel is based in that history. And if that history is not true, then neither is the rest. Let me give you a practical example here. If I can be so bold as to say this, I think that a lot of our Sunday school material, Bible study material that we use in our churches, do you know Australians are pretty blunt? We sort of tell it like it is. What you see is what you get. Sorry about that. Do you know I think a lot of it's almost a waste of time? Do you know why I say that? I'll tell you why. Because what we do is we teach Bible stories. You say, what do you mean? Well, you know, Jonah and the great fish, the feeding of the 5,000, Paul's missionary journey, Jesus on the cross, Noah and the ark, Adam and Eve. But don't you believe those things? Well, yes. What's wrong with that? You know what's wrong with it? Let me ask you this question. If you went to the average Sunday school teacher, you know, Mrs. Brown been teaching Sunday school for 150 years. <laughs> By the way, I was down in Jamaica and said that, and they said, Mrs. Brown is our Sunday school teacher, and she's about that old. <laughs> So I really got into trouble there. <laughs> but you imagine every Sunday school teacher, and you said, Mrs. Brown, tell me in Sunday school, do you teach geology, biology, astronomy, anthropology? I think Mrs. Brown's going to say what? No. Oh, where do you go to learn about geology, biology, astronomy, anthropology? You go to, oh, you go to school. Oh, I see. Oh, that's where you learn about that. That's right. What do you do at Sunday school and church? Oh, we learn about Jesus and the Bible. Oh, of course, the Bible has nothing to do with geology, astronomy, biology, anthropology. How silly of me. That's right. We send them to school where they learn a geology, biology, astronomy, anthropology that contradicts the Bible. Of course, that's what we do. And then we teach all these wonderful Bible stories at church. Does anyone see a problem here? Friends, do you realize what's happening? What's happening is this. Whole generations in the church go to an education system, watch TV and so on, where this is the real world of dinosaurs, the Grand Canyon, fossils. We can explain all these things. The origin of the universe. What do we do at church? We talk about Bible stories, spiritual things, moral things, relationships. Tell me, Mrs. Brown, did you connect the flood to fossils? Did you answer questions about the dating methods? Did you help the kids understand how Noah could fit all the animals on the ark? Did you connect it to biology? Because if you didn't, you are not teaching them equipped in this era of history. You see, 1 Peter 3.15, always be prepared to have what? Oh, answers. It's to say we need to restore the foundation of the authority of the word of God. The Bible's credibility has come under attack in this day and age. We need to give answers to the world. We need to train up generations that have answers, able to defend their faith. To be able to get out there and connect the Bible to dinosaurs, connect it to fossils, connect it to the Grand Canyon, connect the Bible to death and suffering and help people understand it's the history in the Bible that explains all these. The history in the Bible explains why there's death. The history in the Bible explains dinosaurs. The history in the Bible explains reality. The Bible connects to the real world. The church by and large has disconnected it and we've handed the real world teaching over to the education system. And we wonder why we lose it. 